chairman of uh, ICD board, Captain David Savi, ICD chief executive officer and staff, senior management uh, members of the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development, leaders of educational institutions, partners and stakeholders of ECC, distinguished guests, good morning. It is indeed gratifying to see so many familiar faces today. And a pleasure for me to welcome you to this morning's first National ECC Forum for 2020, the National Sensitization Workshop organized by ICD in, col in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development aimed at sensitizing school leaders, stakeholders, and partners in data management in early childhood care and education. The critical importance of data accessibility and management in the performance of organizations cannot be overemphasized. Availability and usage of data that is viable and reliable enables higher process efficiencies, more informed decision making, more effective planning, and strong, decisive, and strategic actions. In Seychelles, like in many small developing states, data may be readily available in various modes and from different sources. However, there is a need for improvement in data quality, usability, comprehensiveness, retrieval, and intelligence in order to make a real difference in the performance of organizations and institutions. In our national context, specifically in the domain of early childhood development, it has been recognized that there are currently many gaps in the information available and inconsistencies in the collection and reporting of data across different sectors. The fact was underlined in the Seychelles framework for ECCE introduced in 20, uh, 2011, followed, following an audit of information available on various aspects of early childhood development. This was echoed two years later when the Seychelles presented its country report as part of the World Bank's system approach to better education results in early childhood development the Sabir ECD, in which the need was identified to develop sound indicators for a national database and data management system on early childhood development in order to address the deficiencies. The many areas of non-availability of data and information reported in the Sabir ECD report across all ECC sectors was shared at high level um, ECC policy committee and members were not too satisfied with the existing state of affairs. The Institute of Early Childhood Development as the coordinating and advisory body for ECC in the country had a tall order from the policy committee to take bold steps and bring together parties to work in partnership to address the data management issues in the best interest of our young children. In order to bridge the gap, and in, er and in earnest in 2015, the ICD put together a project to improve data management in early childhood across government as part of the National Action Plan 2015-2016. The project initially involved the health sector, which targeted health and nutrition of young children in Seychelles. It is good to note that the Ministry of Health at that time was actively engaged in the project from the top level officials, the statistics section, to the health information assistance on the ground with technical assistance and support from the World Bank. The collective efforts and uh, collaboration spirit, collaborative spirit have contributed to the overall success of the project. Today, the project has been institutionalized in the Ministry of Health, and we are proud of their accomplishments. 
you will be able to learn more about, about and appreciate the health project in a video which we're going to view shortly. The latest call on this problematic area was also made in the second international biennial conference on ECCE in 2019 under the, th under the banner Big Data for Small Children, which pointed to the urgent need for an integrated information system to provide reliable and up-to-date data on ECCE indicators. We are gathered here today to witness the successful completion of the first phase of the project's replication in the education sector, in particular in the early childhood key stage. The data management project, which commenced in 2019 and was endorsed by the Ministry, is part of the current National Action Plan for ECCE 2019-2020, coordinated by ICD in collaboration with MS section and schools division in the Ministry of Education. The project, which comprises five interdependent and distinct, distinct phases, seeks to encourage the education sector and its respective educational institutions to take the lead and systematically build and strengthen uh, the management of its information system so that data on early childhood education and development can be readily available and appropriately shared at local, regional, and international level. The phases include an audit to assess data collection practices and procedures, storage and analysis of data, and its general management to review in six pilot schools. The, seg the selection of indicators in line with international norms and development of relevant framework and documents to collect information and stati statistical data systematically. Thirdly, um, uh, capacity building of relevant school personnel on selected indicators in early childhood education, information gathering processes and practices. Fourthly, trialing and testing data, ga data gathering tools and procedures for collection of data based on agreed indicators. And lastly, full institutionalization in all schools and for effective implementation, quality control and monitoring and reporting purposes. As stated earlier, the project in this uh, is this time round targeting the Ministry of Education, but the possibility is there for further replication and adaptation in other sectors as well. It is in this perspective that today's workshop is being organized based on the first phase of the project, the situational analysis conducted by ICD in, collect, in col collaboration with ME section and with the technical assistance of a local consist, con consultant our own Mr. Egbert Benstrong. The aims and objectives of the projects are to provide a platform for knowledge sharing and initial building of capacity for frontliners in the different educational establishments amongst other key partners. To provide us with an uh, aperçu of data management in ECCE through the sharing of best practices in line with international benchmarks. To share preliminary findings of a situational analysis conducted last year in six pilot primary schools, namely the Grand Anspralin, Bello, Beauvalon, Ansboileau, Ansoupin, and Takamaka. To support the eventual development of a comprehensive national database and robust information system uh, capturing a holistic status of children's outcomes and uh, access to educational services amongst other supporting mechanisms at the level of the headquarters. Dear participants, we all have the same vision in terms of the holistic development and essentially the education of our young children in the foundation years. We are making progress in the provision of quality service and program delivery. However, we are also cognizant of the realities of our sector where data management in early childhood education is concerned. 
we may have an abundance of information from a range of sources, or we may be engaged in extensive data collection activities. But we have to ensure that the information we have is relevant, reliable, can be analyzed, and is readily retrievable for a range of purposes. And it allows us to track progress and make timely decisions, measure changes and outcomes, as well as determine results and produce well-timed and accurate reports. At this juncture, today's workshop, based uh, on the topic, is fitting, as it will help sensitize our school leaders in readiness for the phased approach um, of the decentralization process, the devolution of responsibilities from a centralized system to institutional level, which we have embarked on. In addition, Data management is equally imperative in the context of the government's results-based management, the DRBM initiative, and is the foundation of performance monitoring and evaluation, better known as the PMNE. As you are aware, the Department of Public Administration is leading and coordinating the implementation of this pillar under RBM. The ministry, IECD, and other agencies are currently implementing the PMNE. This project has come in handy as school leaders will be sensitized on principles of data management, and thus um, uh, this will help them better manage and report on indicators at the level of the institutions. In the same uh, vein, I appreciate the topic chosen for the panel's reflection as data management is essential in our educational system. I patiently look forward to partake in the discussions ahead. School leaders, I urge you to use this opportunity offered to you to enhance your knowledge, which will contribute to build, an exist, um, to build on existing practices and strengthen processes within your schools to improve monitoring, quality assurance, and work towards continuous improvement in measuring our young children's education and well-being in all areas of their development. We remain steadfast uh, in our demarche to fully um, institutionalize data management practices in our school and in our central system so as to attain the required standards of uh, universal indicators of early childhood stimulation and education. Such uh, a robust national information system on ed indicators for ECC, which ICD will develop, will allow Seychelles to earmark areas of uh, childhood in education requiring immediate attention, identify opportunities for further development, assist to strengthen existing data gathering systems, and benchmark the quality of data collected, both at school and at the level of the ministry's headquarters, based on core ECC internationally uh, recognized indicators. To conclude, I would like to express my sincere appreciation and thanks to ICD, the recognized Global Category 2 Center uh, for ECCE by UNESCO for undertaking and coordinating this highly technical and significant project, and more importantly, to bring together policymakers, professionals in ECC and other stakeholders to participate in this first ever initiative in early childhood education domain for our country. I also wish to acknowledge the technical expertise of the consultant, Mr. Ben Strong, and his readiness for facilitating this workshop this morning, despite his ill health. We really appreciate your presence today, Mr. Benstrong, and your usual commitment to such initiative in ECC. I take this opportunity to thank the ICD MS team, in particular, Julina, Michelle, and Derek, 
for their hard work in data gathering at the level of uh, schools. A special thank you goes to the head teachers and the team of the six uh, pilot schools for their support and patience during the data collection process. I wish to highlight also the excellent work of the ICD staff in putting to, um, uh, today's event together and the team at the IC ICD Advocacy and Information Section in collaboration with EMIS and Schools Division and wish them much success in the next steps of the, pro of the project. I pledge the continued dedication of the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development and our primary schools as the actual implementers and beneficiaries of the project. To all ministry um, officials, school leaders and other participants, may you have fruitful deliberations and may you encourage and support data-driven practices and decision-making in your divisions, sections, and institutions as it is increasingly becoming the norm in many workplaces. With this new approach, we can seize the opportunity that this project will bring to change our mindsets, embrace data management, revisit our ways of doing things, and uh, forge ahead with renewed confidence together. On this final note, it is with great pleasure that I declare the National Sensitization Workshop on Data Management in ECCE officially open. I thank you for your attention.